Shalom Wong. Before I get into my lesson, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashun, Yahweh Shah, the bonds to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and Ruel, teaching in the uh, truth and uh, in the ministry, and uplifting the name of Yahweh, Bashun, Yahweh Shah. And uh, double uh, salutations, and Shalom Wong to the Akim, that's on the highways and byways, that my uh, fellow laboring, laborers that, you know, pushing this word of Yahweh, Bashun, Yahweh Shah. This is the Akia, the brother Shaquat Mubar from the Great Millstone Charlotte Camp, coming at you with another lesson to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. And the, those that, you know, the confused faces who bloodline that go to the go back to the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans on your father's side. Because this is not just a black or Latino or Native American thing, man. You know, because you have some of our people, most, you know, some of our people that spread out amongst the uh, heathens, man. That, that had they see with the heathen nations, but if your father go back to the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, by the seed of the father, you're a Hebrew Israelite, man. And basically, man, I'm gonna get into a um, breakdown of um, a scripture, um, a chapter which is on uh, Obadiah, man. And Obadiah is um, a prophet, you know, that prophesied about the nation of uh, Edom, man, which are you so-called white people today, man, that rule the world, man. You elite bankers, man. You a top elite. On that the rule of the world. So I'm gonna just get into the scripture and show you how important this one book of, of Daya, Obadiah that have have a lot of you know prophecy and judgment that's gonna take place uh, uh, to you so called white people man, which are the Edomites according to the Bible. This is chapter one, um, Obadiah chapter one verse one. The vision of Obadiah, this say the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom. So I'm you so called white people man. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen, arise ye, and let us ride up against her in battle. And that was what well, that was taking place, man. You got all these nations that's, you know, about to rise up against America, man. You know, Europe, you know, Israel, you know, Russia. You know, the Lord is setting up these, you know, armies in the World War Three over there in the Middle East, you know, to, 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 to come against America. America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Um, by the ways of, um, you know, Russia, you know, China, North Korea, even their own allies, NATO, man, is going to send missiles on America, man. You know, um, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. So that was going on now, man. So you got all these other heathen nations, like the Chinese, you know, the Japanese, the Africans, you know, the Hamites, the uh, Arabs, the Syrians, you know, even on... Uh, you know, our people, man, some of our people is coming against you so-called white people, man. And y'all being despised, man, for all the wickedness y'all have done on the earth. And all the rape, rob, and murder that y'all have promoted, man. You know, all the lies that you push among these heathen. You know, all the depth, you know. So now, now the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh got it at these heathen. And everybody in the, all these nations to come against the nation that uh, eat them, man. You so-called white people. Even, even people of your own nation is coming against America. In the European system and the beast system. Um, verse three, the pride of thy heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. And your pride, the pride, go back, you know, to your high, you know, your your high exaltation, thinking that you better than everybody, man. Thinking that nobody can't, you know, stop y'all, man. And the pride of your heart, and your mind, man. Cause in your mind, man, y'all think that y'all gonna continue on forever. I think y'all going to uh, issue y'all a new world order and control the whole world through the implantment of the RFID chip, you know, the mark of the beast. You know, y'all thinking y'all going to rule everybody with your military and nobody can't, you know, bring y'all down. You know, that's why Trump, you know, now pushing these trade wars against China, you know, Russia and different other nations, you know, telling China and, you know, and Russia and, and, and uh, NATO, I mean, uh, yeah, NATO and, um, in our, our North Korea, push the, put the sanction on them if they don't comply to the ways of America. You know, but but the, the heathen despise America, man. And on top of that, man, the American system, the economic system is falling, man. So the heathen don't even want to do business with America anyway, man. Now, why are they starting to try to issue their own currency without America being the number one currency, man? Um, the pride of thy heart had deceived thee. Thou that dwellest the in the cliffs of the rock. Kind of, so that's your habitation, man. That's why y'all call y'all so-called cages, man. Because during the time of the dark ages, I 
I was up in the mountains, man. The, the uh, Caucasus, Caucasus Mountains, man, over there by, um, you know, up here by, by Russia. So y'all from Mount Seir. You know, the Lord, you know, um, put y'all in the mountains because y'all like um, beasts, man. Y'all low, low so-called human beings, man. You know, y'all, y'all, everywhere y'all go, man, y'all bring destruction. And y'all don't follow the law, statute, commandments, y'all by Shem Yahushua, man. Y'all despise it and come against it, man. You know, that's why the Lord have y'all in such a low state. And also, the Lord chose y'all to be the wicked, man. Um, who habitation is high, that say in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So that's what y'all thinking, man. Y'all think that no nation can bring y'all down to the ground. But the Lord is going to use these other nations in military to bring America down, man, through the missiles, man. And on top of that, who the world called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, which is a so-called Negro, a dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah, is going to come back and bring war against you so-called white people. You eat them, mate. Verse 4. Thou, though thou, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, thou... Though thou set thy nest among the stars, the devil, the symbols are you so, the, one of y'all symbols are you so called white people, man, the eagle, man. Look, like, look at the American symbol, man, the eagle. You know, also Greece, you know, Rome, Germany, you know, Europe, you know, Russia. You know, that's a sign right there letting you know that the so called white man is the Edomites, man. Because the Lord said they, one of these signs that they exalt themselves as is the eagle, man. And the eagle is one of the, is the highest, one of the birds that fly the highest above any other birds, man. If the eagle got that pride look, you know, he's a, uh, a, a hunter when it comes to other birds, man. Conquering other territories, you know. And, you know, basically, man, being at the top bird, man. And y'all set y'all stars, y'all nest amongst the stars, like your satellites, your planes, you know, your jets, you know, your technology, you know, that your, your, you know, your, your space program, like NASA, you know, thinking think y'all going to be able to go out of space and go to the other different planets, man. But the Lord um, got a limitation on your rulership and then on your technology, man, that y'all can't pass. Um, this, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this, when I bring thee down, see, see your house. So the Lord is going to bring you so-called white people down, man. Soon that you get to your higher peak of rulership, the Lord is going to bring it down and crash your so-called new world order, man, and disappoint the elites, man. By putting y'all in slavery, man, under the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Verse 5. If these come to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Will they not have stolen till they had enough? You know, so basically, the Lord saying, you know, you got so much stuff by, you know, by stealing and rape robbing the people, man. You know, taking all these lands, taking all these resources by the force of your military, taking the land from the Native Americans and the Seminole Indians and the Mexicans, which are Israelites, taking our land, the nation, that, you know, the land of Israel that belong to us, man. But you don't have, you know, you, even though you got everything, more than these other nations, man, you still don't have enough, man. You still want to gain everything, man. You know, so the Lord will have to come back and destroy you for your greed, man. Um, if the great, great gathers came to see, came to thee, will they not leave some great? So, you know, you don't want to leave nothing, man. You want to gain everything, man. Verse 6. How are the things of Esau sent out? How are his hidden things sought up? So, you know, you know, now you're being exposed, man. The Lord has sent you out by exposing you through, you know, mainly through the internet. And starting with our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, man. And other Israelite camps that, you know, that might push the so-called white man being a devil, man. Letting people know that the so-called white man nation... Go back to the, the the biblical Edomites, man. The ones that the Lord rejected, man, and hated, man. You know, the wicked, man. You know, and even though we got, you know, once a time before, man, you y'all call yourself a secret society, man. You know, being unknown. Illuminati, man. But now, you know, you can't go a day without hearing about the Illuminati or who run the so-called Illuminati, man. You know, like you, you super rich, rich bankers, man. Like the Rothschild, you know, Rockefeller. You know, everybody know about your Ivy League. And, you know, these different type of colleges, like the Skull and Bones, you know, like Yale, you know, uh, Harvard, you know, uh, Princeton, all these Ivy League colleges, man. You are, you know, people have been exposing, mainly your own people, exposing, exposing how y'all dealing witchcraft, you know, masonry, 
You know, so the Lord's coming up, coming back to search y'all out, man, to expose y'all, man, by the way of the prophet. Um, verse 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The man that were at peace with thee had deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have led a wound under thee. There is no understanding in him. Kind of so now you got all these other nations that once been doing, you know, business with America and are complying with America. Not all of them are coming against America, man. You know, mainly because they depth the depth system that America caused in they in they in their country, man. Now you have the Chinese coming against America. They don't want to deal with America. You know, Russia is more coming against um coming against America. Um, we have um on most of the NATO troops, not NATO troops, but NATO European countries coming against America, man. You know, a lot of American allies that was once with America is turning their back on America and ready to bring war against America, man. For all this wickedness. Um. Uh, Verse 8, shall I not in that day see the Lord even to spoil the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of Mount, the Mount of Esau? The mighty men, old T men, and T men go back to the uh, one of the sons of Edom, man, you know, which I uh, uh, believe is the, the Germans, man, because they the one who came up with this vast technology of about, you know, the nuclear missiles and, and different weaponry that they use in their military, man. So now even the Lord is going to come back and bring their might down, man. Shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mountain of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. So the Lord is going to destroy every so-called white person, man, that, that seed go back to the nation of Edom, man. He said he, he's going to destroy the whole nation of Edom. You know, because you got some of these Israelite camps out there saying that you're going to have some white people, Edomites, you know, make it. And if they bloodline go back to either man, none of them ain't gonna make it, man. All of them are gonna go into captivity, man, and slavery under the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the nation of Israel, man. You know, so whoever, you know, the groups that push that, saying that the so called white man can make it, man, you gotta get away from them, man. Because that's not scripture, man. The Lord, you know, reject Esau, man. I'm gonna get that in all. Um, this is Hebrews. Chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person in fornicating me, or a liar, a deceiver. You know, and that's what you saw do, man. You so called white people, man. That was in y'all blood, man, in y'all spirit. The deceive, you know, and, and lie, man. That was so much chaos in the world today, besides your military and your, you, you know, bringing the sword and the murdering people, man. You, you also lying and having the people mindset. Thinking that you're a God, you know, thinking that your way of life is the, the best way. But it, all of it leads back to, you know, the transgression, transgression of the law, statute, commandments, man, and, and wickedness. And profane person, as Esau, who for one morsel of meat stole his birthright. So, you know, during the time, you know, when Esau and Jacob, you know, was on the scene, man, on um, Esau, your forefather, your forefather, you so-called white people, forefather Esau, Sold his birthright, man. You know, he sold his birthright to Jacob, man, to our forefather, the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. You know, but he sold his birthright, meaning he sold his, he gave up his blessing, man, for 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 red meat, man, a, a partage of meat, you know, and soup. So he didn't care about his birthright, man. That type of um, vile person that you so-called white people is, man. Y'all don't care. One thing y'all want to do is rape, rob, and destroy everything, man, and tell lies, man, deceive people. Um, who for one most of meat stole his birthright. Verse 17, For ye know how that afterward when he would have it in, inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it with carefully with tears. So the Lord rejected Esau, man, even though he cried and trying to, you know, repent. But the Lord wasn't hearing that, man. He rejected Esau ever since the beginning, man. Even, you know, even though he tried his best. But the Lord already had to set up that he was going to reject Esau and choose on uh, Jacob, man, the nation of Israel, man. You know, so that's how the, the Lord do his thing, man, because the Lord is a, a righteous balance, man. And the Lord deal with both, you know, both sides, man, good, you know, evil. And so, you, and, uh, so the Lord is um, set up the Negro, Latino, Native Americans to be the righteous, man, to, to represent the good. Instead of you so-called white people, man, Edomites, to be the uh, wicked, man. 
which is bad, man. Um, just as back to um, Obadiah, and, you know, just that a quick precept showing you that the most I reject Esau, man, and none of you Edomites, these so-called white people, ain't going to be able to make it unless on their father's side and they confused faces, you know, they might look like a so-called white man, but they bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, and Native American descent on their father's side, man, and they are Israelites. But if they don't, and they go back to the, you know, the so-called white man, the, the nation of Edom, your destiny is to is to go into slavery under the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites. Um, Esau may be cut off by slaughter. I'm going to start back up at M9. Thou mighty men or teaming shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thou violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So since you know you so-called white people brought violence against your brother, man, because we are the brothers, man, the so-called white man, you know, Esau was the brother to the to Jacob, man, which are the um, father of the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, man. You know, so we closer to the so-called white man, our uh, actuality, than the, the Africans over there in um, Africa, man, because we came from the son of the seed of Shem, man. You know, we not we didn't come from the, the sons of Ham, man. The, 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 Af the real Africans over there, like the, the Kushites, you know, the um, the Egyptians, my, um, um, the Libyans, you know, the um, South Africans, you know, because son had, Ham had so, four sons, man, and, and the Negroes wasn't part of the, the nation of Ham, man. You come from the line of Shem, man. Um, against our brother, violence. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And so y'all violence, when, what the violence that y'all, you know, did against the Negroes, that you know, Native American, you, know, you took our land, you trying to, you know, you took our inheritance, calling y'all self the Israelites, y'all murdered us, you know, by taking the, the, the land from the Native Americans, you know, the, the Central Americans, you know, the um, South Americans, you know, you um, hung us, castrated us, put us in slavery, man. You know, y'all did all type of, you know, torture and, and murder us by by the way of your laws, the, you know, your, your, your sword, you know, shooting us down, putting us in the prison center, and trying to, you know, put set up y'all court system against us, man, and keep us father and slave. The Lord is going to come back and, you know, and bring great judgment upon y'all. Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So the Lord is going to cut y'all off forever, man, you so-called white people, man. Verse 11, in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried captive his force, the, the foreigners enter into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Thou was as one of them. So when the Babylonians, even the time when the Babylonians took the southern Canaan down, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and put us in captivity during the time of the Babylonians uh, captivity, you know, you so-called white people was with them, the Edomites were with them, helping them. Enslave us, man. Uh, but thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day of the, the day he become a stranger. Neither should thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither should thou have spoken proudly in the day of their distress. For y'all so called white people, man, you eat them, man, was happy when we fell as a nation uh, uh, during the time of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi uh, ruling when Israel was in power, man, and going into captivity. Uh, only the Babylonians, man. Verse 13, 13. Thou should not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou should not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. So you, you know, y'all you, was rejoicing. Y'all was happy. You know, when we fell as a nation, man, y'all came in, you know, took some, most of our, um, you know, our treasury, you know, that the Lord blessed us with, man. Our substance. Neither should thou have stood in the cross which to cut off those of his that did escape. So even, even when, you know, you were trying to get away, man, y'all was there to cut us off, man, to keep us from escaping, man. So the Babylonians could have come in and, and conquered us, man. You know how much hate y'all had for the Negro of Latino Native American, the, the nation of Israel. Y'all still got that hate until this day. But the Lord set it up like that, that we were going to be enemies forever, ever since the womb, man. Um... 
for the day, for the day of Yahweh, by Shem is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. So the Lord is coming back to bring destruction and, and payback on you so-called um, white people, man, you Edomite, and the rest of you heathens, man, that in cahoots with the so-called white man, like you Arabs, you know, you Africans, you know, um, Chinese, Japanese, because all y'all are enemies, man, and all y'all had a, a, a hand in uh, the downfall of the nation of Israel, man. You know, even though you, the Lord got y'all fighting against amongst each other now, He's going to come back and, you know, bring all y'all kingdoms down and set up his people, man. The Negro, Latino, Native American, the Israelites, man. Starting off with the elect, 144,000 and 130. And he's going to have y'all enslaved uh, under us, man. Y'all going to be, uh, we're going to be in control and we're going to have power over all you heathen nations, man. And the number one slave is going to be so-called white people, man. Edomite. Starting off with your elite bankers. Um, for, for as you, as you, as ye had drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But, uh, because the uh, Most High is going to bring great judgment upon you heathens, man. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and they shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. So the Lord is, is going to, uh, exalt us, man. He's going to bless us, man, with that kingdom, man. He's going to bless us with that spiritual power, man, and conquer our enemies, man. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. So the, you know, the nation of Israel, Jacob, represent Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, Joseph represent uh, Ephraim, which is the head of the northern kingdom, the Puerto Rican, on down, man, the, the, uh, the rest of the tribes, man. The Lord going to uh, give us that power. You know, to destroy y'all, man. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So the Lord said, ain't gonna be no remaining of the house of Esau, man. You so called white people, man. All y'all gonna be destroyed, man. After a thousand years of, of slavery in the kingdom uh, of Israel, man. You know, so when, when the Lord come back and set up his people and set up his kingdom on earth, the Negro, Latino, Native American, the elect, 144,000, one-third. You know, the nation of Israel is going to have power over you so-called white people. Y'all are going to be slaves under us for a thousand years, man. You and the rest of these heathen nations, man. But only thing about it, after a thousand years, you so-called white people are going to be destroyed, man. The whole nation, man. We're going to round y'all up and, and, and burn y'all, man. You know, and get rid of y'all, man. And, but these other nations, they're going to be, they're going to have to follow our laws, statutes, and commandments, man. Because Esau is the only nation that's going to be destroyed off the, off the planet Earth, man, forever. And, this, and the Lord has spoken it, man. So it's already written, man. The Lord ain't going to, the Lord don't change his mind, man. There's a set time that he's going to destroy all you so-called white people, man. And they of the south shall possess the mountain of Esau, and they of the plain, the Philistines, and they shall oppress, they shall possess, possess the fields of Ephraim, in the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gali, and the captivity of the of this host of children of Israel shall possess the Canaanites, even the Zephrites, Zephrites, and the captivity of Jews, Jerusalem, which is the power, shall possess the cities of the south. And Savior shall come up upon, come up on Mount Zion to judge the mountain of Esau, and the Canaan shall be the Lord. Yahweh Shimon was shot. So the Lord is going to. Give us that power, man. Set us up in our kingdom, man. We're going to have power to judge you, you heathen nations, man. You know, so the Lord is coming back to raise up the nation of Israel, man. Starting off with the elect, man. So, you know, brothers out there, keep fighting and keep pushing. You know, I'm praying that this video will be edifying. And so the next time, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And I'll double on to the apostles of elders, that great millstone that rule well. And shalom on to the house of David, the elect. Shalom on.